Hello my dear students, I hope you all are doing well. So here I am with the new chapter, chapter number 6, we have decimals, okay, page number 103. Now we have to understand what is decimal. A decimal fraction Okay, so definition is, what is decimal fraction? A decimal fraction is that fraction whose denominator is 10 or a power of 10. Now, I will explain what is denominator 10, what is the meaning of that, what is a power of denominator 10. So, suppose say, <coughs> I am writing one number 5 by 10. Okay, so here, this denominator, okay, denominator is 10 or it can be suppose say a uh, 16 by 100 okay now here the power denominator is 10 or a power of 10 so this 100 means 10 square okay 100 equals to 10 square so this is called power of 10 similarly number can be 18 by uh, 1000 so here 1000 can be written as power of Three. So, this is the meaning, okay? What is decimal fraction? Decimal fraction is a fraction whose denominator is 10, maybe 100 or 1000. So, that is called power of 10. If it is 100, 10 square. If it is 1000, 10 cube or power 10 to the power 3. So, this is the case of definition. Now, here you have to understand how this decimal is represented, okay? Now suppose say I have written 5.6 okay 5.6 so this point okay this point indicates this point indicates a decimal point okay now in our uh, unit place we have 6 in tens place we have 5 so 5.6 so this point okay represents decimal point or that is called a decimal point okay now we will move to the another part okay you have already done this in the case of fraction chapter okay we have discussed the place value okay we have already discussed the place value like ones tens Hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakhs, ten lakhs, and so on. Similarly, so if you move to the left hand side, okay, we'll get ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Similarly, if we move to right hand side, then what? Okay, so after this ones, we have tenth, t, tenth, hundred. Hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and so on. Now I will give you one example. Now in place of ones we can write one. In place of this ten, tens we can write ten. This hundred, hundred, uh, sorry hundreds. Hundred means one hundred. Maybe thousand, one thousand. Now what about what about this tenth? Tenth is nothing. It is 1 by 10. Okay. 100th means nothing but 1 by 100. 1000th means nothing but 1 by 1000. So, this represents 10th part of 1. This represents 100th part of 1. This represents 1000th part of 1. Okay. So, this is the way how we have done the place value in the case of fraction. Now, here we have to apply the same concept. Okay, once again, here 
we already know the place value so in place of ones we have one in place of tens we have tens in hundreds we have 100 in thousands place we have 1000 but if you move to the right hand side we have tenth tenth means 1 by 10 hundredth means 1 by 100 thousandth means 1 by 1000 now suppose say, i'm writing one number okay 6 9 8 2 5 now <coughs> this number 6 9 8 2 5 so in ones place we have 2 in tens place we have 8 in hundred place we have 9 and in thousand place we have 6 but what about this 5 5 is in tenth place so when when we move from this tenth to this side then the concept of this decimal will come so this can be written as 6982.5 because after this tenth okay after this tenth the decimal point will come and this is the way how to represent the a decimal okay now next concept we have how to convert a fraction to decimal and decimal to fraction so i will teach that fraction to decimal now suppose say one fraction is given as 5 by 10 okay now what we have to do we have to convert this fraction into a decimal so how we can write <coughs> excuse me how we can write this 5 by 10 this 5 by 10 can be written as 0 0.5 because here we have 10 so this point represents a decimal and this 5 by 10 can be written as 0 0.5 5. Similarly, we can take another example. Suppose say, uh, 15 by 10. Okay, 15 by 10. So, how many uh, zero we have? One. So, this will represent a decimal if the number can be written as 1.5. So, this point will represent the a decimal. Okay. Now, next, we can write this one as a uh, Suppose say 70 plus 8 by 10. Suppose say we have one fraction 70 plus 8 by 10. So how will represent this? Okay, we can represent this one as 70 plus 8 by 10 means 0 0.8. Now when we add this one, we'll get 70.8. So this point will represent DC decimal so these are the basic concepts of decimal now next we will learn how to convert this uh, decimal into fraction okay so suppose say next we are going to learn decimal to fraction suppose a decimal is given 6.4 now how will write this 6.4 into fraction this can be written as 64 by 10 because after the decimal point how many numbers we have oh, one so if we have one number after this decimal then we have to divide it by 10 so this can be written as 64 by 10 suppose say we have given number uh, 23.9 so how we'll write this uh, decimal into a fraction form we can write this one as 239 by 10 why 10 because after decimal we have one digit so if after decimal we have one number then we have to divide it by 10 let's take another example 29.65 now here after decimal okay after decimal how many uh, number we have 6 and 5 so i will write this one this one can be written as 2965 by since here we have two digits so here we have to divided by or our denominator will be 100 so this is the way to convert the decimal to a fraction and the previous case we have done fraction to a decimal okay next concept i am going to explain you decimal on a number line number line we have done in the case of this fraction so suppose a number line is given as 
at the midpoint, so we have a zero. Now, if we move to the right hand side, so we say one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Similarly, if you move to the left side of this zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on. So this can be considered as an integer. Now, if you are asked to represent any number or any decimal point on the number line, then how will you do that? Okay. So next step. Suppose say, represent, represent zero point two on number line. Suppose say we have given one question. Represent this zero point two on number line. Now first step. What you have to uh, remember that zero point two, okay? Where it will lie? It will lie between zero and one. So this zero point two, zero point two will lie in between zero and one, okay? This 0 0.2 will lie in between 0 and 1. Now we will take one more line, okay? We will take one more line. Suppose say, this is our 0. Now, this is our subset 0 and 1. Suppose say we are representing this one as 1. Now, 0 and 1, it will come uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Now, what we'll do that? We will divide this uh, 1 into 10th part. Okay? We'll divide this 1 into 10th, 10th part. So, this can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay? Now, we are dividing this one into 10th part so the first one this zero and next will be 0 0.1 this next will be 0 0.2 this next will be 0 0.3 this next will be 0 0.4 this next will be 0 0.5 this one will be 0 0.6 this line will be 0 0.7 this one will be 0 0.8 this one will be 0 0.9 and this is our one so, where, where our 0 0.2 will lie? 0 0.2 will lie here. Okay? This is our 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2 is greater than 0, less than 0 0.3. So, this is the way to represent this decimal on a number line. I will take another example. Suppose the next question is, represent 2.3. 4 on decimal sorry on number number line what is the meaning of this we have to represent 2.4 on a number line okay so first you have to remember 2.4 okay this 2.4 will lie between this 2 and 3 okay 2.4 means greater than 2 less than 3 so here I am taking another line, subset 0, 1, okay, 2 and subset this is our 3 because I am taking this long gap because I have to represent the smaller part of this 1, okay, 10th part. So here we can uh, divide in 10 part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So here the first one will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and this is our 3. So here we have to represent this 2.4 on number line. So where 2.4? See, this is 2.01, 2.2, 2.3, this is 2.4. So here 2.4. Now this will be our 2.4. So this is the way to represent a decimal on a number line.
Okay, next concept. Uh, the next concept I am going to explain you. Okay, suppose if we have taken one number 289.635. Okay, 28.635. Now, what is in ones place? We have 8 in ones place. In tens place, we have tens place we have 2. Okay, now this is 10th. 10th, this is 100th. 100 and this one is in thousand thousand place so this nothing but this is 6 by 10 this 3 by 100 5 by 1000 okay now next concept okay next concept I am going to explain you value of 0 in decimal okay value of 0 in a decimal okay how the number will change if we put zero okay suppose we have one number 20 and 0 0.2 okay 0 0.2 now if i put any zero in uh, the upper one the number will change to 200 but if any number after decimal point, suppose we have point 0.2. Now, if I put 0, 0, then the value will remain same. So, this is nothing but 0 0.2. The meaning is that if you put any 0 after this decimal point, that will become meaningless. The number will remain same. But if we put a 0 here, in the case of this 20, it will become 200. So here, value will change. Okay, value will change. But here, value is value is not changing. Okay, the value is not changing. Here, it will remain as a 0 0.2. Okay, let, let's take another example. Suppose we have 20 and here 0 0.2. Now, what will happen if 0 is placed before the decimal point and after the decimal point? So, here suppose say number is 20, but if I put any 0 before this number, this is equals to 20. So, value is, is not changing. Okay. Now, next case we have 0 0.2, but if I put any zero, any zero before this number, okay, before this two, then the value will, value will change. This will be a 0 0.002, okay. Earlier it was 0 0.2, now it has become 0 0.002. So, the value will change and now it is becoming smaller. This 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.002. So, this 0, okay, the value of 0 vary. If we place after the decimal point, it has no meaning. But if we put 0 in any other number like 20, if we put 0, it will become 200. So, in this way, the value of this decimal will change. Okay, whatever we have done before this, that all are the introduction and the basic concepts related to decimal. Okay, now we are going to the exercises. So first exercise we have 6a and in exercise 6a, question number 1, we have write the following decimals in numerals. Okay, the first question is 6.2 and the second one is 310.0506. Now we have to write this okay in a number. So first one we have 6.2 means here 6.2. It is a very easy. Okay. Now second one we have there are four questions, four or five questions are there. Out of that, two I am solving, and the remaining one will be your homework. So here 310. Okay. 310. Now here it is mentioned point point. 0, 5, okay, 0, 5, 
zero six zero five zero six. So this will be the value in numerals. So six hundred ten point zero five zero six. Here we have six point two. In six point two, we have written this one in a numerals form. So the remaining question we will do it in the next class.